All right, guys, I had a buddy of mine uh, uh, give me a call and said a farmer on some ground that he hunts has got some trouble with some beavers, so we're down here to make a couple sets today and just going to walk you through the, the process of making a set. Got a bit of a chew here where they've been eating, and I kind of cleared this up a little bit. Uh, made a little bit of a platform here real quick just to save you guys some time watching. So got a nice spot right here flattened out. Um, Kind of pulled the sticks and brush away from this a little bit and put a little water up in here make it look slick um, I'll get a caster mound placed about right here and then we'll get some uh, some caster put on it um, the first thing we got to do though is we got to get an earth anchor in um, I'm gonna put it in about right here chances are in ground like this this wet it's probably gonna push right in I'm probably not gonna need to pound it in but uh, with the angle of the drowner going out in the water probably not going to have too much trouble with it so i think i stepped in over there and, and it went over my boot so i'm just going to push that down in there about that far and then uh this is a drowner setup it's just a cable with a basically a swivel and uh, the way i've got the swivel on there it only goes one way so, to get this thing unwound here, I'll show you how to get it set up. So, when it slides down this cable, when they go to pull it back up, it won't go. So, it actually goes the other way. So, it slides down like this, and then when they pull it, cocks it against the cable, and it can't come back up up the cable so I want this up at the top hooked into this and then uh, I use these old railroad tie uh, or railroad plates look pretty good so we're just gonna thread this through real quick like that so what we got the plate on there and then what I usually do is uh, I'll hook this trap on real quick on these connector here like that and then I throw I'll throw out a little bit further and drag the trap back to the connector so that the, I keep that line as taut in the water as I can. Most of the time they don't drag that plate very far before it holds them under. So, so there's your kind of your setup. And now I'm going to chuck this plate out and then we'll drag it back to the, to the clip there and we'll tie it in and set the trap. So. That. And then I just pull this back to my quick connect right here. I'll open this thing up a little bit. Most of the time when I try throwing against that cable, it ends up kind of jumping back on me, and I don't get it quite as taut as I'd like to have it. So I'll try and do it like this, and that. Tends to keep it quite a bit tighter. These are a little bit of a hassle when you got gloves on, but better than getting wet hands. So I'm gonna kind of set this off to the side. Let's see if we can't get a little bit of mud and, and get that caster on built. Right there. So 
then you just kind of lay some sticks and stuff so that remember they're swimming at water level so they're not as high as we are so they're going to see this from quite a ways away so now that we've got our mound in place we'll go ahead and get this trap set and uh and get it put in place Pull this down until you hear a click. Right there. And then I'm going to kind of, I like my jaws to sit like this so they close on either side of their leg. It doesn't push the leg off, it goes off. I'm going to drop it in right there, just like that. And then the only thing left to do is just get a little bit of caster put on this. By the way, you want to be, of course, careful not to stick your fingers in that joker. And uh, got a little bit of caster here. I'm just going to take a any small stick like that. It's going to work just fine. Just dip it in a little bit of caster. Put a chunk of it on there. And shove it up. Shove it in the ground right here. And, that's about all there is to it. They'll come in and see this slick spot and smell that caster and stick their foot in that 750, slide down on the drowner, and hopefully we got a beaver here tomorrow. So thanks for watching guys.